Hey guys, today I am sharing with you this amazing Chinese style air fryer roasted chicken. It is so good and it is so easy to do. If you don't have an air fryer, you can still make this by deep frying it. Let's go right ahead and get started. In a bowl, I'm going to go ahead and make my uh, marinade for this. I'm using some ginger, some nice fresh ginger. You want about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of ginger, as well as about five cloves or so of garlic. I'm going to go ahead and grate all that into a bowl. Now this could not be easier, but you get a fantastic chicken. I went ahead and grated my garlic and my ginger, and I'm adding in some low-sodium soy sauce to this. I will have everything listed below in the description box, as well as some five spice powder. I'm going to go ahead and add in as well some brown sugar. It's going to be a hint of sweetness and tanginess and saltiness and goodness and oh my, it's delicious. So blessed and grateful for all these wonderful recipes. Give that a gentle mix. And now we need to season this with some salt and pepper. You want to add salt to taste. Um, since I am using low sodium soy sauce, I know that I definitely need a little bit of salt as well as some good black pepper. You can use white pepper as well, which will give it wonderful flavor and balance with the soy sauce beautifully. Give that a good mix around. Make sure all that sugar is getting mixed in properly, as well as I'm going to add in some vegetable oil. Just a little bit of vegetable oil because I'm not deep frying this, and I want this to be nice and crispy, crunchy, good. Alrighty, so I have my whole chicken here. Um, yeah, it's a whole chicken. What can I say? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. This is nice. It's defrosted. It's good to go. I'm going to go ahead and just pour this mixture all over my chicken. All over the chicken. Get all of that brown sugar, whatever, settled at the bottom. And now you want to go ahead and peel the skin of your chicken back. We want to get that sauce. We want to get that marinade inside of the chicken so while this is marinating we making sure we're making sure that that flavor is really getting inside of the chicken so what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna get a little knife and I'm gonna cut little tiny um, holes inside of my chicken little pockets where we're gonna take some of that sauce and also make sure that it's going into those little pockets so that breast of the chicken and everywhere is good and flavorful okay Make sure and get all the sauce inside of the chicken. You want to pull the skin back on the back of the chicken as well. So as you can see here, I'm taking my hand and I'm going all the way down to the legs and the thighs to make sure that I get the sauce all over the chicken. And you want to make sure and rub around on the skin of the chicken as well because it's going to help make it nice and crispy. Really get as much of that sauce in there in the chicken as you can. Pull the skin back up. And now we're going to let this marinate overnight. I know that's the hardest part. I'm doing this the night before. Now if you don't have the time to do it overnight, you can do it for four or five hours and you should be okay, but overnight is really the best scenario. You can cover this up with foil and what you want to do is you want to flip it. I'm going to go ahead and place this in a Ziploc like bag, um, kind of like how you would make a freezer meal. I'm just plopping my chicken in a uh, big gallon bag. And I'm going to make sure and get that sauce and pour it inside with the chicken. So the chicken is sitting in with that marinade. I'm going to tightly seal that up to make sure and make sure all the air, as much as I can, is out of the bag. So we have a tightly sealed chicken resting in some goodness. Now I'm going to 
I am going to double bag this one because I don't want any chicken touching anything in my fridge as well as I want to make sure nothing leaks. So I'm double bagging this and I'm going to place this in a bowl and place it in my fridge to marinate overnight. If you want to just cover it up with foil, you can go ahead. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be flipping that around to make sure that all sides of the chicken are getting coated. So whenever you get a chance, just come in and let it give it a nice little flip to make sure all sides are sitting in the sauce. And the next morning, you want to make sure and take it out so that it comes up to room temperature before you fry it. You don't want to fry cold chicken. You don't want to cook cold chicken. <laughs> and I'm just going to flip it in the morning to make and let it sit, come up to room temperature. I've already preheated my air fryer, and this is the iKeeches Air Fryer. It's a large, six quart, powerful, and amazing air fryer. I will have the link down below for you for the air fryer that I use. I'm getting a little bit, a little bit of the sauce on top, and I'm going to make cook this for 30 minutes, breast side up, at around 380. I'm going to go ahead and flip it after that 30 minutes and cook it now for the, on the next side for 30 minutes at 375. It's going to give it a really nice roasted color and flavor and it's going to be fantastic. Now if you don't have an air fryer, I will have below how you can fry this. You just want to deep fry it um, in a lot of oil and want to flip it, cook it for about maybe 45 minutes or so, flipping it every 10-15 minutes. Now what I like to do is I like to take that sauce, that leftover sauce that was from the chicken and I'm cooking this down just to cook out all the chicken and everything. I'm adding in some hoisin sauce, some oyster sauce. Some sweet chili sauce as well as some more brown sugar. Now, I don't usually serve this sauce with the chicken, but it has such great flavor already, so I'm gonna cook it down, and I like to actually pour a little bit of the sauce on top of my noodles. I cook it all the way down. It takes about 15 minutes or so on medium heat. I'm gonna add in a hot pepper because I like my spicy. This is a habanero pepper, as well as some ketchup. Now this is optional, you don't have to make this sauce because again, I don't serve it with the chicken, but I like to use it on top of my noodles. Kind of like a teriyaki char siu sauce. It's just yummy. So here's the chicken out of the air fryer, cooking for an hour, 30 minutes each side. You can see that even though it's roasted, it's still super juicy and it is so good. It just takes a few simple ingredients and the chicken is so insanely delicious. It's so good. It's a Chinese style, kind of like a roasted chicken. The sauce itself is kind of like a mix between a char siu and a teriyaki sauce. It's just delicious. Everything listed below in the description box. I hope that you guys enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.